Good morning, everyone. Until you get it right. right. 
that we don't need as Christians to have the wrecks of life and don't know the benefits of what grace provides for us. Amen. So Amen. grace, grace is benefit, it's favor, grace is joy, and some of the saddest people I've ever met in my life are Christians. Mm -hmm. Mad, bitter. You know what Alfonso did? It was, it was 23 years ago, Alfonso. Now, come on, now, let it go. Get you some joy. <laughs> and everybody say, move on. Move on. Time to move on. Yeah. Uh, grace is liberality. Watch this one. There is, there's not one bondage that can hold you down. Not Amen. One. Not, not one. one. There's not an addiction. Yes. Not, not one. one. Not one. That can hold you down. Because grace releases liberality. Right. Right. Pleasure. I love this one. Because I can come to church and prophesy, but I can go to my grandson's t-ball game too. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And most old Christians, they don't know how to balance. You, you really don't know how to go out to Astros baseball game and have a good time, good clean fun, and then come home, come to church and, and we're so boring. <laughs> because we don't know how to balance both. We, 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 it's, like a, it's like a deacon in the church. You, you're so spiritual, but then when you come to the barbecue, you want to pray with everybody. We ain't praying. We ain't barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> so, so chill out, bro. Chill out. Let me enjoy life too. Amen. So, so, so grace is the anointing. There's power available. It is not the will of God for not one of you under the sound of my voice and for those of you that are at home, it is not the will of God for not one of you to be sick. Amen. 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 In the kingdom of God, I said it like this. It's like a fine wine for those who like wine. It's like a fine wine. It gets better with age. The older I get in the kingdom, the better I get. Amen. 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 I don't get old and get wrinkled. No. There's, there's not a cane they can make in this country that's for me. Not one. That's right. <laughs> because that is not my future. There no. is not a wheelchair no. that they have made with my name on it. Not one. Not one. Not one. Because I'm planning on being in my 90s and still getting on with this is farm. Because it renews my spirit like the eagle. I get better. Amen. Y'all don't want to say that one day. I'm getting on right. I still got my friend. <laughs> At 102. Just yeah. let me know. And when y'all see it, me walking like this. Uh -huh. At 99, <laughs> don't get mad. And you come, you come rolling by me. <laughs> All I'm going to do is say, I told you so. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Because the, the grace of God releases the anointing of God. Yeah. Which is the... Power of God. You know why, why your children, your teenagers don't like your church? Mm. Because they know it has no power. Mm. Yeah. They don't want your religion. They don't want your faith. They don't want your God because they don't see the results. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They got to see something. They got to see your marriage work. Yes. They got to see you happy at home and in church. Yeah. Amen. 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 What is grace? Grace is not a license to sin. Mm. As a matter of fact, the more of a revelation of grace you get, the more you commit your life to God. That's right. Because you come to this conclusion. How can God mm. be that good to me? Yeah, yeah. After I did what I did. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't care how you cut it. There are certain testimonies you will never see in church. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's right. You mean what? <laughs> you mean that? Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> and God's Still, the scripture says it like this. While I was yet in my sins, Christ had already died. Already. Yes, sir. Yes. Grace already. was already released. Already. Knowing that I would be a sinner, born in it. That's then right. I come to church and I hear somebody preach to me. I hear somebody teach to me. As, as, you know, my, I gave my testimony last Sunday. When I was nine, I got saved at night. I rededicated my life before we get off. You know, we all get off. Mm -hmm. I rededicated my life at 19. And I've been on the straight and narrow ever since. Well, watch this. I got saved at night. I'm in a Baptist traditional church. Magnolia Missionary Church on Wayville Street, right across from God's in Christ. Come on. <laughs> this is a real testimony. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the address. <laughs> I'm nine years old. My pastor, I.H. White, he's with the Lord. Now he was in his 80s back then. And he 
you know, this little preacher like you normally know, do, then they go to college and go back to the Baptist church. And then a warmth came over me, a heat at night. Don't tell me God came with your children. Right, yes. right. Somebody just got to believe for me. Yes. yes. And I don't even know why. What was happening? I started crying. And then they opened the door to the church and give you the right hand of fellowship. <laughs> but I walked down the aisle and I gave my life to the Lord. What is that called? Grace. 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 That's called grace. Yes. All right, let me give you another. I had asthma as a little boy. And my mother, who was a praying saint, Pray for me. And all of a sudden, one day, I was a little bit on my side, running and playing. And then, you know, at a certain time, I saw a reason, so I got to come home, come to the house and take a treat, and things like that when I was a little kid. All of a sudden, I'm running and playing, going for a touchdown, doing what I'm doing. All of a sudden, I realized I'm not reason. Right. Amen. God totally healed my body of asthma. Amen. Amen. No Hallelujah. more treatments, no more breathing, no more no more healing. Amen. Amen. He supernaturally healed me. What is that called? Grace. 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 I messed up in my life. Y'all talking about me. So you know what's my point? Y'all in your adulterous rage, you know, your home yeah. when we all got our, our form of something. We all form of something. Yeah. That's right. Uh -huh. So I'm very promiscuous, young, energetic. It's <laughs> <laughs> quiet in this Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I committed sins. Like everybody else. Amen. And I realized the scripture counts to me. There is now no condemnation to those that are in Christ, in Christ Jesus. I repented. Ask the Lord to forgive me. Mm -hmm. And a peace came over me. Because if your heart don't condemn you, you have peace with God. Yeah. See, I realized, why do you love me? Mm. Why do you care? Mm. Even the angels in heaven are tricking with that question. What is man? Yes. Why are you giving these crazy folk <laughs> so much grace? Yes. Unmerited favor. Right. It's not, I know I did what I did. It's just that he still covers me. Yes. He still forgives me. Yes. He still loves a wretch like me. Yes. Why do you do this? Yes. It's called grace. grace. When you, it's not a license to sin. When you come to the understanding of it, you don't want to commit sin. You just pray that he loved me. Amen. Amen. Why do you keep doing this kind of, why do you keep showing me care? Why do you keep protecting me? Amen. Why? God so loved the world that he yes. graced me. Hold on, watch my, he graced me. Wow. He gave his only begotten son for me. Amen. Thank you, I'm Lord. still smoking my stuff. I'm still sleeping with who I want to. I'm still cussing. I'm still like praising until one day he graced me. Amen. 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 Grace is that I have my mind. <laughs> Grace is I can think for myself. Because most people never have an original thought in their own life. Oh, yeah. All right. Most people talk to be what you are. But some folks never have their own thoughts. Right. I came to a place in my life. He loves me. Yes. And when I realized that, I stopped doing this, and I stopped doing that, and all of a sudden I started rising. Yes. Favor came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Folk just started giving. Folk just started doing it. And I realized it's because of this grace. Yes. Watch this, people, God. It's already on the inside of me. Yes. yes. I'm not praying for it. Amen. 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 Already. I'm not fasting for it. I'm not believing God. It's already been extended to me. Already. Let's look at it. Quickly, some examples that we gave last week. Grace is called Thanksgiving, 1 Corinthians 10 and 30. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to read them. We can go back over it again. Uh, that's when he says, uh, I partake of thanks. Number two, grace is acceptable, meaning that uh, you have to learn how to speak and declare gracefully. Uh, acceptable behavior. Learn how to respect your husband, respect your wife. We don't curse each other. We don't scream at each other. We don't disrespect each other. I'm not out of control because I have to be acceptable. I have to be calm under pressure. That's called grace. That's Colossians 4 and 6. Mm -hmm. Paul said, let your speech always be with grace. Uh -huh. That word is, is, is translated acceptable. Mm -hmm. Number three, it's the manifestation of God's spirit. I do want them to see this one. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Paul says, 
I have a thorn in my flesh. Now, let me explain to you. The thorn in the flesh was not sickness and disease. That is not the will of God for you to be sick. Right. It is not the will of God for you to be on, on blood pressure medication. Right. Take it because the doctor said to people, believe God to heal you. Yeah. And then go back to the doctor and the doctor tells you you don't need it no more. That's how that, that's how that works. Yeah. Everybody say, I receive that. The thorn in Paul's flesh was the, was the assignment of a demon to Paul to harass or to irritate him. Remember this woman was, was saying, Paul was preaching, Paul and Silas, I believe he was, and, and she was saying, Thou art the anointed man of God. And they were screaming that he tried to preach it, so I was screaming that. So it was irritating Paul. So what did Paul do? He cast the demon out of that. Then the next day they got thrown in jail because the, the people she was soothing with doctor. So the, the men who owned her found out that all their property left because mm -hmm. Paul set the woman free. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Everybody say grace. 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 That was what the thorn in the flesh was. Now watch Paul. God, will you remove this thorn out of my flesh or this hip irritation? No. <laughs> watch this. There are certain things you must go through a process. Everything in the kingdom is not going to be a miracle. That's right. Some things you got to go through. Amen. So you can grow. Can I say it again? Yes. Some things in life, not sickness and disease. Right. Some things you got to go through so you can grow. And that's all a testimony. Mm -hmm. Paul went to the army to this bother him. Because okay. he asked God to remove it. Mm -hmm. My great answer. My great. You know that's the cap M. That's God speaking. Yeah. yeah. My grace. Mm -hmm. When you read the scriptures, if you study it well, the Bible answers itself. Yes. It'll tell you what the grace is. Just follow me. Mm -hmm. My grace is sufficient for you. So stop crying, stop complaining, and go through the process. Mm -hmm. My strength. There go your answer. Uh -huh. He said to me, my grace is sufficient. What's the answer? It's my strength. Mm -hmm. Strength is made perfect in my weakness. Yes. Therefore, now watch how he shifts. Once he comes to the knowledge of truth, mm -hmm. he gets a revelation of what this grace is. Then he switches most gladly. Now the man was crying and complaining a minute ago. Uh -huh. Once he understood what grace was about and it was extended towards him, yeah. now he's rejoicing in. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Watch this. The thorn never left. That's correct. Oh. Oh. Ah. So That's what's good. the difference? His mindset. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He came yes. to yes. a revelation of truth. Mm -hmm. What's going to cause you to overcome alcoholism? Grace. Yes. What's going to cause you to overcome a bad negative marriage? Grace. How are you going to win your son? Grace. How are you going to win your daughter? Grace. How's the tuition going to get paid? Grace. grace. Amen. What is grace in this context? Strength. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. Strength to do what? Endure. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Don't you know That's endurance right. is one of the fruits of the spirit? That's right. Because many of us don't want to go through nothing. Mm -hmm. But then, what's the testimony? Right. Right. What's your testimony? Mm -hmm. If you go through absolute, listen, with or without God, you're going to. That's right. correct. That's correct. Because <laughs> life ain't no joke. Life ain't no fun. Right. The pandemic hit everybody. High gas prices hit everybody. Inflation affects everybody. The difference between me in the kingdom and those that are outside is I got grace. Amen. I got grace. Now, when he found out this strength, there's another one that comes with it. My strength is made perfect, Paul, in your weakness. Now, Paul answered. Okay, Lord, since I understand what this grace is, therefore, most gladly, will I rather boast in my personal weaknesses that the power of Christ may Come be set upon me. Come on. That's the problem with the church. We don't have none. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. There's no power in the church. Mm -hmm. You do not realize there are people in the church that never experienced a miracle, mm -hmm. never experienced mm -hmm. the power of God. We, we had a lady we ministered to one Sunday early this year, and, and the power of God came upon her, and, and she said, Oh, I feel so warm. Oh, I feel so light. I feel like I'm floating. Mm -hmm. Is this how it feels? Yes. Because <laughs> it drives the power of God. Listen to me. Yes. 
The power of God drives out cancer. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's not based on my testimony. My wife had breast cancer, echo cancer. God healed them both. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not based on that testimony. It's based on this. Amen. Amen. The word of God. Yes. You gotta have a word. That's right. right. We, we, I said it before. Yes. I said, I don't care how I say it in the Greek. I don't care how I say it in the Hebrew. I, I, I don't care what translation you read. If you don't take the confessions and go home and declare every single day, you're on your own strength. Yes. And our strength fails. Yes. Yes. That's why people have in church. Yes. That's, why, that's why divorce is as high in the church as it is in the streets. Mm -hmm. That's why alcoholism, alcoholism, abuse of every kind, sexual abuse, physical abuse, you name it. Hey, I'm, I'm a pastor. I'm also a Christian counselor. I hear this stuff every day mm -hmm. from saints mm -hmm. that they won't do. I, I'll tell you in church, and I'll tell you the same thing in private. Is this what you need? Yeah, that's right. Until Amen. you yield, yield yourself to Almighty God mm -hmm. and commit your whole life to God, yeah, yeah. you're on your own strength. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to First Peter 3 and 7. Everybody say grace. Grace. First Peter 3 and 7. Let's look at another aspect of it. Grace is called benefit. Yeah. Husbands, likewise, well with your lives according to understanding, which is wisdom, intellect. The choice of your husband, the choice of your wife, is a represent, representation of your people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Some of y'all are getting it in the same <laughs> Let it simmer a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's a little punchline. You know what I'm saying? If I were you, I'd stop telling everybody about my problem with my wife, my problem with my husband, because it reveals your intellect. Mm -hmm. So shut your mouth down, get your emotions in check, and treat your husband, treat your wife right. Yes. Say amen, church. Amen. Likewise, husband, dwell with your wives according to understanding, give them honor, what's that word, respect, unto your wife as a weaker vessel. That's not weaker in intellect, anything like that. That means that she's the softer one, more fragile than yourself. We are protectors. Men are protectors over their wives. Mm -hmm. All right. And being, here's the word, heirs. What's that? Heirs. heirs. Benefit. Something I'm receiving. Yes. Somebody left something for me. Yes. But the only person we're together. Yes. Are y'all following me? Yes. Of the, the, the heirs together of the grace of life. Are we there? Of yes. the grace of life. There it is. Of the grace of life. What's that word that translates in the Hebrew? The benefit only comes if we're together. The benefit only comes if we're on one accord. That's why I give the word. Stop fighting with your wife. Stop arguing with your wife. Stop, stop putting each other down. That's ignorant and unlearned if you continue. To, the Bible says you speak against yourself because we're one. Amen. And when we're unified, God releases grace. Amen. Benefit. 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 Pastor. Psalms 103 gives you the answer to the benefits. Yeah, yeah. Forgiveness of sins, mm. healing, release, redemption, mercy, loving kindness, yeah. righteousness, good things. And watch this, my favorite one. Your strength yeah. is renewed yeah. like the eagle. Yeah. I'm in my 50s, yeah. but I look like I'm 32. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. shake yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, tell you, tell you. you got to start believing God for me. Amen. I'll be 90 looking like I'm 58. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm a brag about. Young <laughs> man, who do you think you are, young man? I'm a brag about. Y'all better, y'all better grab this grace I'm giving you. Y'all better take it. Amen. Amen. You was gonna ask you. Amen. 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 Let's go to John chapter 1, verse 14. Let's look at another business, another example of it. It's covering. I love this. It's yes. covering. Grace is a covering. Yes, John yes. chapter 1, verse 14. And the word, John chapter 1, verse 14. And the word, that's a capital W. Y'all mm -hmm. see that W? Capital W. That's Jesus, right? That's right. And the word, Jesus, uh -huh. was made flesh. Well, you know Jesus in heaven, that's a spirit. You know, in heaven, it's spiritual. It's not natural. So it's spiritual. So Jesus came to earth, the word was made flesh, and what did he do? He dwelt among us, mm -hmm. and we beheld his glory. He's the only of the glory. I don't own nothing. Only. As a matter of fact, when you come to this revelation in the church and in the kingdom, I own nothing, you'll come out of Christ. That's 
That's right. So God Amen. has people whatever he wants, I'll give it. That's right. If he asked me to give away a car, he's about to give me three. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. You gotta understand how it works in the kingdom. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Yes. Amen. And you gotta raise up this church, you're gonna be a bunch of givers. Yeah. yeah. You gotta sow your way out of debt. Yeah. 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 Amen. Because that's the kingdom of God way. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so watch this. The world is being said. Dwelt among us, we beheld this glory, glorious power. You can't tell what glory is. Uh -huh. yeah. Glorious power. Yes. Yeah. And of the only begotten Father, watch this, full of grace and truth. Mm -hmm. Full of grace and truth. That word grace there is covering. Mm -hmm. Remember, in different translations, you, you see it a different way. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why you've been bamboozled. That's why you've been lied to. You. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's why a preacher can use the church money, buy the Rolls Royce, not to you, tell you to give, it to, give me a gift of so it's easy to me as your man of God, mm -hmm. but the car already been paid, but they ordered three months ago, five months ago. Wow. But they're going to tell you yeah. Yeah. to do you pay for it, and they lie to you, and they pocket the rest. Yeah. You know why the church be standing in line and going to a line preacher like that, a false prophet like that? Because you have no grace. You have no truth. Wow. 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 <laughs> I would like, let me, let me explain something to you, David. Your life not limited to me. You should respect our spirit against. Right, right. But I can run your life. Right. That's right. I can run your house. That's right. I can kill you to come over here because I say so and watch my fall. What the heck? What the do with you? Y'all can give me some things to do. That's just frustrating. It frustrates the H-E-L-L out of me. And there's so many Christians are deceived. Yes, yes, yes. And y'all falling for this false prophet and this foolishness because you don't know the truth. Yes, yes. So watch this. Grace has been released yeah. Yeah. to bring to you truth. 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 Most right. church folk don't know truth. Yes. Right. Truth from the Bible is ultimate knowledge. Uh -huh. Most saints know nothing. Yeah. They're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You're, destro you're destroyed in the church and you're destroyed in the streets. You don't know knowledge because you don't want to go to school. Right. You don't want to educate yourself. You don't want to do better. Mm. But then in the church it's the same way. You have no spiritual knowledge so a man can profit out of you and then they say, no, you give me a mortgage money. Right. Mm. Now, you, now you get kicked out the house. Mm. But the prophet going to Louisiana. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. Why is that possible? Jesus. You have not received the grace that reveals and it's the, well, you see, the scripture we've been hearing all our lives, it's the truth that sets you free. That's right. That's not right. your prophet. That's yeah. correct. Come on. Yeah. That's correct. Now, I'm not against the prophet. I'm not against the apostle, the pastor, the teacher. You need men and women of God in your life. Yes. But they don't own you or That's control correct. you. That's correct. And if I the man of God comes to me and tells me my name, that ain't a revelation. I know my name. Mm -hmm. He was born from June. <laughs> so if I don't know my name, I'm in trouble. Yeah. I don't need a prophet to tell me my social security number. I know my social security number. That's right. If you don't know that, you're in trouble. Yeah. What I need you to tell me is what is God going to do about life tomorrow yeah. about this time? Yeah. You can't give me that unless you can see. see. Yes. That's right. Uh, Hallelujah. And most people are deceived by it. The most deceptive man of God in the body of Christ is the prophet. Now, that don't mean you never get prophet. Now, I'm just saying you got to know the truth. True. This. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Only thing a prophet can do is confirm. Confirm. That's, that's all they can do. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Lord. No, I'm say that to me. No. Yeah. 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 Right. And I move on. I'm not going to disrespect the prophet. Yeah. What I'm saying to you is this, folks. If you don't come to a knowledge of the truth, mm -hmm. you stuck all the days of your life. Mm -hmm. Same thing with you. Because it is not the will of God. Mm -hmm. You're taking 15 pills. Because y'all do know, y'all do know the pharmaceutical companies are not about your head. Yeah. I hope by now y'all know that. Yes. The whole purpose of the pharmaceutical companies is to get you hooked on drugs. That's why when your grandmother, great grandmother, when they pass, you go out to the best account, you see 30 people. Mm. Yep. You're like, are you serious? Yeah. I'm taking this many pills, I'm still no better. Yeah. Mm. You better get into the kingdom and believe God. 
Amen. 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 All right. So now, the world was made flesh full of grace and truth. Grace now means covering. Mm -hmm. You're protected. It's like Psalms 91 and 4. He shall cover, put up Luke 13 and 34. Listen to Psalms 91 and 4. He shall cover you uh -huh. with his feathers under his wings. Mm -hmm. You shall take refuge. His truth yeah. shall be your buckle. His truth shall be your shield. That's right. It's the truth it's that the protects truth. you from Amen. the right yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. But watch this. Old Jerusalem. Old, old Angus home. Angus home. Angus home. <laughs> <laughs> old Katie. Old Katie. <laughs> old Conroe. Conroe on the same side. Brother Conroe on the same side. Watch what Jesus said. Watch this. You who kill the prophet, because you don't want truth. Mm -hmm. And you stolen those who are sent to her. How often, how often I wanted to gather you as children together. Notice, he left you, now he's talking to your children. Because if you don't obey God, it goes to the next generation. Yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. My father was a white man. So was my grandfather. I'm the third generation. I chose not to because I came into the knowledge of truth. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You understand what I'm saying? There are three generations of truth. Mm -hmm. there, there are three generations of young girls getting pregnant outside of marriage. Mm -hmm. Generation after generation after generation because we refuse, we, we refuse to accept truth. Watch this. How often I want to gather you. He used an illustration of a hen. A mother hen gathers her chicks, brood chicks, mm -hmm. under her knee, but you are not. The reason why we're where we are, we don't really want truth. So, right. The prophet said, the prophet Hosea said, Thou art destroyed for that lack of knowledge. What's the next part? Because you have rejected. rejected. That's right. Because we don't keep reading. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Gotta keep reading. Yeah. The truth is, you don't want this race. You know why? It's going to bring a judgment on your life that causes you to change. Because yeah. once you're, you're, you come into the knowledge of truth, you are required right. to right. obey it. When you don't obey it, then judge yeah. People say, well, you know, that's in the old cup about tithing. And the judgment of the Lord says you experience the, you, you experience the results of not obeying God. Once you come into truth, yes. I know put my hand on the stove beside. Because I put my hand on the stove when I look in and burn me. Guess what I learned? A valuable lesson. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and from that time on, I never touched the hot the hot stove. Because I will learn the lesson. <laughs> I don't have to burn my hand to learn. Right. That's correct. Right. That's right. When I can accept true. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Amen. Listen, man, you can be happy now. Amen. Amen. Yes, you can. Amen. You can have plenty money, baby. Yes, you can. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can be blessed to be a blessing to others. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. See, the thing is, this grace has always been available. Yeah. It's nothing new. Mm -hmm. It's been in your Bible before. When you walked in this church, it was already in your Bible. Right. Yeah. Before you were born, your grandmother knew this. Yeah. That, that, that grace was available. Yeah. Listen, it, it is covering. It means full of grace and truth means truth covers and protects mm -hmm. you. And it protects you from you. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. Right. Say that. Say that. Yeah, it's yeah, my answer. No, you know, just make money. No, they don't. No, it's my extra money. No, they don't. They don't like thinking about you like that. It's you <laughs> thinking what you think about yourself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's good work, yeah. Pastor. You know what my heart is telling us about this? That's good work. It can get you to believe what I'm saying to you is mm -hmm. true. true. Wow. But I don't believe it can change. Are you serious? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Why would we, why, why, why are we doing the things we're doing yeah. that bring no results? That's right. Wow. Clearly, you lack your truth. Mm -hmm. So I can sit down with a couple for an hour and can tell already if they're going to make it, if they're going to fail. Mm -hmm. Based on truth. Most folks don't, especially, yeah, I say this, especially people of color. Mm -hmm. We don't like nobody telling us the truth. what to do. Yeah. But at the end of the day, looking at your life and the results you're producing, you need somebody <laughs> to tell you <laughs> what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that my mentor told me, right? When I, when I was, my first seven years of marriage was pure hell. It was horrible. I was terrible. I was knocking holes in walls. I was tripping with myself, tripping with my wife and all that. And then I went to my mentor, a man of God, and he clearly looked me in my face and said, Leroy, you don't know what the hell you do. Man of God. And he told me the truth. And I needed to hear the truth. 
school. You didn't know what you were doing. You went to middle school. You did not know what you were doing. High school, come on, college, high levels of learning. You know the reason why you know the reason why you're not a professor? Because you don't know everything. Right. So somebody has to teach you. Now, why do we understand that at Rice University and TSU, but we don't understand that in the key? Because the principle is the same. How often? Clearly, Jesus wants you to experience grace. He wants you to experience love. Because you had a broken heart. He wants you to experience healing. Because you need sick. He wants you to experience life. Because life has built you a bad hand. He wants you to be a business owner. But you had three businesses that failed. But this, you still call to be a business man. So what do I need that I didn't do the other time? Grace. Amen. 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 Praise Praise you. Your word. Most of us struggle with this because the truth is this. I, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm gonna preach it to myself now because I, I experience this thing. The truth is, many of us have not totally given our whole life up. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that's the real problem. Wow. You know, so I get married, and uh, your body's here with me, but your mind is on the other side of that. <laughs> you know, <somebody> work. <laughs> your body here, but what did Jesus say? Your heart is far from me. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. Mm. Mm. That's so uh -huh. mm. See, we, that's why we come to church religious. Mm -hmm. I've, been, see, uh, mm. I've been in church my whole life. I've seen in my own personal family, I've seen in other deacons' lives, and deacons having mistresses in the church. And I've seen a lot. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot. But at the end of the day, somebody mm -hmm. got to accept truth mm -hmm. and make this work. I, I said, my matter of fact, you know the reason why you married that work? Because you've got to be an example to your children. Yeah. If yours don't work, then it's not going to work. That's right. 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 So you've got to set a higher standard higher. of righteousness yeah. in the kingdom of God. Yeah. Amen. I think I'll tell you one hand clap. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say, God, please be good. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. What is grace? Grace is the anointing of God. Philippians 1 and 7. Philippians 1 and 7. Let's put that one in. Philippians 1 and 7. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all, this is Paul talking to the church of Philippi, because I have you in my heart in so much as in chains. What does that mean? He's in prison. Mm -hmm. Chains means he's in, he's in prison. He's writing a letter to the church of Philippi. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible wasn't written in chapters and verses. This is really a whole letter. It was mailed to the church of Philippi from a Roman jail scene. Mm -hmm. And you know how mailed was? That thing was by Donald and Horses, so they didn't get it like they did email. You know, boom, you got the message. You know how it is now. So it took months for them to get the letter. When they finally got the letter, they read it to the church. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, when the minister started reading, watch this. The grace that was on Paul was released upon the people. Amen. Yes. Yeah. yes. Amen. And watch what he says here. Both in my chains and in the, in the defense of the confirmation of the gospel, you all, those that are listening to the yes, letter right. being read, That's like right. I'm up here now, I'm preaching to you, and what's happening right now and in your spirit? Grace, Grace. is being released. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, Amen. 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 Yeah. And what does the grace do? Builds your hope. Yes, so yes. go home and say, I'm working on my Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Right. I'm going to get that home. I got kicked out, and I'm going to get me another home. Yes. Yes. Because Amen. I believe what God is saying. Yes. He brings me to the doors of my home. Yes. I'm going to live with me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Great. Hallelujah. You all, this is important, so now. Hallelujah. You all, most preachers use this as a, as a giving scheme. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because there's an anointing on Paul to prosper. Yes, mm -hmm. Now, it's true what they say. Yes. They just abuse it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Because that was an anointing on Paul to prosper. That was, That's right. But for Paul, when, if you don't get his messages, it wasn't about giving. It was about the message of grace to him. Paul never met. Paul never owned a home. He committed his whole life to evangelism. Yes, he did. So he didn't have time for a while. Mm -hmm. He didn't have time to have kids. Right. He had a calling on his life, and the Bible calls it, he calls it in, in a dumb recovery, he calls it the gift of grace. Yes. That's what Paul Amen. calls it. Yes. Yes. Watch this. Because I have this grace on my life, mm -hmm. this anointing on my life, this yeah, power, yeah, yeah. when you're connected to me, yeah. The grace comes on you. Yeah. Most Amen. preachers use it only for a financial part of connection to that. But that's not the Paul's meaning. Yeah. Paul's meaning is the
the grace on my life for you to experience the power and the glory of God. Hallelujah. And in the midst of the power and the glory, you prosper. Yeah. In the midst of the power and the glory, you're healed. Yeah. In the midst of the power and glory, he gives you direction. He tells you, pack up from you. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah. They all left their business. Yes, they Jesus did. said, I will make you fishers of men. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why this couple Hallelujah. can hear God's voice and says, I need y'all to stay in the house, move to Little Rock, Arkansas, so you can minister to special needs children. Uh -huh. You gotta know God's answer. Yeah. 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 To do it, to hear it, yeah. to yeah. obey yeah. it, and then go and do it. Amen. Amen. How can you bring that back? Do you know everybody got a heart for that? Yeah. Come on. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Amen. You know you gotta have a heart for God to minister to special needs children. That's a fact. Because they're human beings too. Yeah. They call by God too. Amen. God loves them too. Yeah. 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 Then all of a sudden, God touches the woman's heart and says, Pastor, I don't want them to know it, but I'm going to sow this seed. Then they don't know. God spoke to me and said, and I already know them out. God told me, I want you to sow it to them on behalf of the ministry. It's okay, Lord. But they don't know it. Mm -hmm. See, when you accept the grace, mm -hmm. it reveals to you your purpose and your call. Yes. You, you, you've, been a, you've, been, you've been a truck driver for 30 years, and you're about to fail, but you got the money. Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. But you know, in your oh, heart, yeah. many of y'all, many of y'all right now at home mm -hmm. are no different than the rich young ruler. You got everything in life that worked off of, mm -hmm. and you still lack. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Help us, Lord. Yes. Help us, Lord. Jesus. And until you, can somebody move this? And until you, just slide like that. And until you, thank you, David. And until you, Yield, watch me. Uh -huh. Until you make a step of faith, get on your knees before God in your home in your private life, and say, Lord, will you open my eyes? Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Will you show me mm -hmm. the things that I'm involved in that I should? Mm -hmm. Will you help me in my marriage? Will you help me in my finances? Because at the end of the day, Lord, I want to commit my life to you. That's why Peter got on his knees and repented. Because he knew in his heart. He didn't commit, he, he didn't right. only commit himself to Jesus, but Jesus said, uh, take two days. He only took one. But he partially obeyed. Mm -hmm. He said, depart from me, I'm an evil man. What was the evil? Unbelief. Mm -hmm. And when, can I say this one? Peter denied Jesus three times. Mm -hmm. But Jesus loved him. Yes, he did. He just had some issues. Say amen. We all got it. You know, I'm not going to tell you a couple of issues I'm working on right now. He denied Jesus three times. Curse him. Like I said, I don't know the beat, beat, or beat. I don't know the beat, beat. He was a cuss man on the floor. Because they told me, you a man. You people get all these people to me. I don't know the beat, but. That's right. Yeah. 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 And he felt guilty, ashamed, and he ran out crying. Yeah. He walked away from his calling. He walked away from his family. He walked away from the disciples that was in the mountains, crying, broken. When Jesus died and risen from the grave, and Mary saw him, and he saw his other disciples, he told Mary, and that he said, go tell my disciples, and... That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because grace is love extended beyond your fault. Amazing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. When Peter finally got to Jesus, he was asking this question three times. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Glory, glory. He denied him three times. Glory, Do glory. you love me? Yeah. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Do you love me? Uh-huh. Yellow. Yeah, Are you sure you love me, Peter? Uh -huh. Yes, Lord, three times. Yeah. He restored his life. Yes. He restored him back into ministry. Yes. And Peter Hallelujah. was that priest on the day of Pentecost. That's and right. one message from this Peter. That's correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. 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 Right. Love yeah. by Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word today. Yeah. And those of you on Facebook Live, thank you for joining us. We love you. We appreciate you. Join us on Bible study. So I see you. Go to the website www.religiousmobilechurch.org and be a blessing and we'll see you on Wednesday. God bless you. We love you.